Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. The easiest way to get programs these days is by downloading them. I mean, when I was starting with software, uh, you had to buy titles in a store. The internet wasn't even around when I was first addicted to software. And at one point in time, if you liked software, really the only choice for you was Microsoft, well, DOS, and then Windows. And that pretty much stayed true up until recently, where there suddenly was a flood of amazing software available just for Mac OS X. And you could say that good software now lives on the web, and I'm not going to leave all you Linux heads out in the cold. There's software available for just about any platform these days. But this video is all about Windows software and the ease at which you can install your favorite software by using this service, ninite.com, N-I-N-I-T-E.com. You just pick the apps that you want. It will create a customized single installer for all of those apps, and that's it. That's it. So uh, let's go through here, pick our software so we can choose uh, the Chrome web browser. Looks like it's got the latest version. I also like Safari. There's Opera and Firefox as well. For messaging, uh, let's go with, oh, all these options suck. Okay, fine. Uh, let's go with Google Talk. That's relatively benign. Uh, they've also got Thunderbird in there as well, which is going to evolve as a messaging platform. Uh, Songbird for media. Let's go with that. VLC, I love. Uh, Audacity for audio editing, just as good. There's also the Hulu player. Picasa, I've been raving about for years. EarFanView was uh, software that I used to love uh, back when I was, you know, addicted to Windows and Windows alone. Been using that since the days of Windows 3.x. Uh, let's see here. Uh, then for documents, there's the Microsoft Office 2007 standard trial version. Let's just go with OpenOffice. Of course, we need a, a PDF reader. Oh, let's go with Foxit instead of the Adobe Reader. Uh, antivirus, there's Microsoft Security Essentials. Let's go with AVG. And assume that, yep, that's the free version. Then for runtimes, let's go with Java, because see, if we're installing it on a fresh system, we'd need that. Silverlight as well is also important, available for uh, Mac OS X. And then Flash, just in case. File sharing, now let's skip that for now. Although if we wanted to download Linux at some point, I do recommend uTorrent, or MuTorrent. Uh, let's see here. For Other, they've got Dropbox, which I've done a video on before. Evernote, I think I've also done a video on that. For Google Earth, Bump Top, there's another one. We've done a video. We, remember, we did giveaways on that one. For Utilities, let's go oh, Recover. That's a new utility that will help you, I believe, uh, recover deleted files on media. See Cleaner, Image Burn, which you don't really need on... Uh, Windows 7 as much as you did or in earlier versions. For compression, I'm a big fan of WinRAR. For developer tools, it's not just developer. FileZilla, actually no. If I had a choice between FileZilla or WinSCP, I would choose WinSCP for FTP every single time. It is cleaner, has an amazing array of options, just as free, not as open sourcey. Well, actually, I take that back. I think it might even be open source. It's been forever since I've used it. Putty. For SSH, that ties very well into WinSCP, FTP, SCP client. Uh, let's go with Notepad++, too. That's all I think I'd want. And then I press Get Installer. Now, of course, it's not going to do me any good because I'm on Mac OS X, and it's, it's basically going to prompt me to download the uh, EXE, or the executable. That's it. So it will take all of those utilities, bundle into one installer, and just make it easy to install those things back to back, instead of having to download each one. The latest version of each one, again and again and again and again and again, just all in one. That's it. And I'm done. Isn't that nice? And apparently, according to Michelle, I've introduced her to many coot gadgets. I think that was a typo there, Michelle. <clears throat> Ninite.com. Actually, I think it's... It was rebranded. It used to be known as something else, but they've gone with Ninite. N-I... N-I-T-E dot com. By the way, Michelle, you might remember from the uh, Eating the Chocolate Covered Grasshopper video and a, a few a video game review videos that we've done in the past. Good friend. That's all I wanted to say. Nice, huh? 
Hey, you know any, any other cool places to get nice Windows software? Maybe some good Mac software, Linux software even, anything? My email address, chris at perillo.com. You're more than welcome to join us in our community of tech enthusiasts, geeks.perillo.com. We also have this chat room, which is typically talking tech, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, with males and females at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.